guys, it's Lady Calista. Today we're going to be talking about a new game by Nancy Drew called Ghost of Thornton Hall. Now this video is sponsored by the developer and I will be leaving the link to download the game down below. Now the first thing I want to mention is this is not a mobile game. It is a game available on PC. Um, you can however also download it on tablet like iOS and I'll leave as I mentioned before the link down below so you'll be able to see kind of the various places that you can play it but it is primarily kind of PC. It requires quite a bit to run um, and you're going to see why in a second now the purpose of the game this is a first person perspective game um it's kind of mystery based so you get this phone call from a friend of yours that's also an investigator so you are nancy drew in this case um for those of you that have read the books as kids i totally did so i was super psyched um to be able to work with them uh because they used to love these books really hard as a kid um and the game itself was actually super fun i played the game from beginning to end so i finished the game <laughs> i didn't have to uh but i just loved it i was having a great time now um the game is very kind of exploration in nature um you're able to interact with your surroundings you're able to interact with the characters and you um as you're having conversations with the characters you're able to basically select what you would want to ask them or what you would want to say and you'll get you know their reactions will vary so it's kind of like one of those books if you guys remember like um choose your own adventure where kind of the decisions that you make early on will impact the gameplay later on uh the game itself ran really well it was really cool to kind of go around this mansion basically the uh, the premise of the story without giving too much away is that a woman is engaged to be married and she is having kind of like a sleepover bachelorette party with one of her friends and she mysteriously disappears now um, her family is filthy rich they have this island this mansion that i'm showing you guys here on the screen is basically where they live which is kind of weird because it's um really run down the family is uh has been rich for many many generations the way that they got rich is based on a lot of not so cool things that they did right like they would run um factories that where the factory workers would need to like sleep in the factory and then there was this really big fire so it's really kind of an interesting story um and the way that the story kind of progresses is you kind of on the bottom right hand have a task list so they do give you some direction in terms of what you should do next um there's going to be doors for example that you don't have a key for so you have to look for the key um you're able to create different apparatuses right to recharge a cell phone like did you know you could recharge a cell phone with oranges <laughs> well you're going to be able to do that here um you have a cell phone that you can use at any time you can call the contacts um i thought that was kind of cool there is a lot of as i mentioned before kind of that exploration piece this is the part where they uh tell you that you need to basically recharge the missing girl's cell phone that's the cell phone right on the screen on the right um and then you find this book that tells you how you can use kind of acidic fruits to create energy to be able to charge things um but you need a bu bunch of ingredients so what you do very early on in the game is basically look for the ingredients um so that you can then kind of hook up the oranges to those um different ingredients or really like things that you need for the experiment and you're able to charge the phone you have to wait until it charges meanwhile you can keep kind of exploring there's a few key areas in the game the first one which um we've kind of been interacting with here is there's the main house right so that's the house where a lot of the characters tend to stick around the missing girls fiance is there her mom is there um then there's also different portions of the island that you're able to explore as the game progresses um and as the game progresses it gets creepier and creepier because the ghost of thornton hall is actually um a relative of the missing girl and that's what ultimately you find out her family is concerned about right so this is another part of the game where you can explore the cemetery um this is one of the family members of the missing girl um he's for whatever reason he's like a ghost hunter so he's always like hanging out by the family cemetery the cemetery is super creepy you guys like as you're walking through like things will shift and move and move like if a stone head moves like you hear like the Arr! of the stone so i was playing this game really late at night with headphones and it was really really freaking me out because i also am i love scary things but i also am like a huge hardcore like blah, jumper so it's easy to get me to get startled i have a really really strong startle reflex i'm start i'm getting startled like throughout this whole 
whole game, which made it really fun. Um, so there is kind of that that component. And I will say there's a few puzzles. Like a lot of this is puzzle based, right? To be able to get to the next section of the game, you need to solve puzzles, which I thought was probably what it was kind of like the most fun for me. Um, and the puzzles will vary. They'll give you clues. There's going to be puzzles where you're trying to recreate images or you're trying to solve um basically mazes that you need to go through and the mazes the way that you're progressing through the mazes will be like positive and negative circuits so pretty cool stuff um and i think the fact that you can interact with your environment so heavily really added a nice touch to it um which makes it really interesting now that's the ghost of thornton hall so the whole place is basically being haunted by this girl that died on her 21st birthday oh my god um and she looks kind of scary there i would and the thing is like she would randomly come up throughout the game and yeah so as you can see the way that she died was she was burned she like burned to death um because there was a fire that was started on her birthday like at the in the ball that she was having um so that was kind of like freaky i would say like throughout the game as you're playing she randomly will pop up and provide more scares so that was that was kind of scary, um, but it added a, a cool element to it. And you're really trying to find out, like, why is she so upset? Like, what does she want you to know? And how is that tied to the mystery of the fact that someone has disappeared? Here I'm showing you guys one of the puzzles. Um, basically, you fall down this shaft and you're trying to create a way to get out of it um, by pulling that those kind of different pieces um, of materials on the upper left hand side on the bottom of the screen just to orient you guys those are the different things that I found you're going to end up finding all sorts of things you're going to find a cell phone obviously um, the one that we were trying to charge you're going to find a camera you can scroll through and look at the pictures they will also give you clues there's things like keys and maps um, different handwritten notes all those things are meant to help you progress through the game um, so again it's very interactive very enjoyable I played it from beginning to end. I'll say I finished the game. Um, I would play it in the evenings for whatever reason, like, you know, an hour or two before I go to bed. Um, and I finished it within a week because I was having a total blast. It had been a while since I played these types of games. I love games like this because you can totally get immersed in the story. The story was a really good one, so you were kind of interested in seeing what happened like where was this girl like and i can't tell you where she is or what happened um because i'll totally ruin it but there's it's a lot more deep and complicated than it seems initially and as you're progressing through the story you find out a lot about like different family secrets and different family members and all sorts of doozies right like it was like a soap opera in terms of like the things that you're finding out but it's all really well positioned in an interactive game where you're really having to think um throughout in order to be able to move to the next stage and then you have kind of like those jump scares throughout the game with the ghost her name is charlotte which can get pretty scary if you're playing at night with headphones um overall i give it a two thumbs up i really really love the game um let me know if you have any questions and as usual thank you so much for watching